John Locke's Second Treatise of Government from Chapter 2 of The State of Nature, Section 6. But though this be a state of liberty, yet it is not a state of license. Though man in that state have an uncontrollable liberty to dispose of his person or possessions, yet he has not liberty to destroy himself or so much as any creature in his possession, but were some nobler use than its bare preservation calls for it. The state of nature has a law of nature to govern it, which obliges everyone, and reason, which is that law, teaches all mankind who will but consult it, that, being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. For men, being all the workmanship of one omnipotent and infinitely wise maker, all the servants of one sovereign master, sent into the world by his order and about his business, they are his property, whose workmanship they are, made to last during his, not one another's pleasure. And being furnished with like faculty, sharing all in one community of nature, there cannot be supposed any such subordination among us that may authorize us to destroy one another, as if we were made for another's uses, as the inferior, as if we were made for one another's uses, as the inferior ranks of creatures are for ours. Every one, etc., etc., ought he as much as he can to preserve the rest of mankind. This is one of three paragraphs in the Second Treaties of Government that captures Locke's meta-ethics beautifully. And the foundation of Locke's ethics is God. God is the source of human rights. Human beings matter because they matter to God. And God has a right to property in what he made because he made it. God created us, and that is why we belong to God. Now, God also created rocks, trees, cows, and buffalo, but God values us human beings more than God values those things. God made us for some higher purpose, it seems, with higher faculties, like faculties, and we are equal. Human beings are equal before God, and they are God's property, and because we are God's property, we cannot suppose that there uh, may be any such subordination among us, no such subordination among human beings that may authorize us to destroy one another as if we were made for one another's uses. No human being is made for the use of another. Human beings are all equal before God who made them for God's purposes. And human rights exist because God exists and values human beings and God is the source of human rights and property is grounded in labor. God owns us because God made us. More on labor in the next video.